Wei ni hao. Welcome to Uncle Bill's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making Taiwanese beef noodle soup, known as nuro mian. There are a large number of items in Taiwanese beef noodle soup. Please see the description down below in the comment section for a complete listing. Also note that beef shanks can be substituted for the heel meat. Let's start off by washing our heel meat and bringing a pot of water to boil. Then we're going to take that heel meat and slowly place it into our pot and bring it back to a boil. Now you're going to want to make sure that your water is covering this meat so it gets nice and tender and you have a wonderful piece of product to serve to your family. Most of the time you'll be able to find this meat in Asian supermarkets, but if you can't, you can substitute beef shanks instead. Nuro Mian is one of the most popular food dishes in Taiwan. I lived there for approximately 10 years and I learned a lot about the cuisine there, including the fact that it is truly amazing. The flavor profiles are great and this soup is going to be one of your favorites. Trust me. Once the water comes back to a boil, we're going to remove our meat from that water. This is going to clean out all of the impurities and also get the meat ready for its braising. You'll notice that they're in the shape of hearts now. That's what happens as they constrict in the heat. We're going to rinse these off, cooling them down a little bit, but also just making sure we wash off any of those impurities we don't want in our soup. Now let's take a little bit of oil and add it to a hot pan, get it heated up a little bit. Then we're going to take our ginger and add it to the hot oil. It should have a little bit of bubbling like you see here. Once the ginger becomes fragrant, we'll add our garlic to the mix. This is kind of the Taiwanese holy trinity, similar to an Italian Maracuá. But this includes garlic, ginger, and onion. Most Taiwanese dishes all have this. Now we're going to add in our green onions. Get those bad boys smelling nice and fresh. Oh, Add in our yellow onions, chopped roughly. And we're going to try to cook this till the onions become slightly translucent. While these onions are cooking down, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Subscribing allows you to be notified anytime there's a new video that comes up, and it really helps our channel out a lot and costs you nothing. Now that we've gotten our onions translucent, let's add our carrots to the mix. Oh yes, similar to an American stew, but not quite, right? Stir, 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 stir. Once we've gotten everything softened up a bit, we're going to add our tomatoes to the mix. Then we're going to add our dried chili that have been ripped in half. Give it all a nice stir. Make sure to cover it nice and well with that oil. It's going to bring out the natural flavors of all of these wonderful veggies. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Once everything's softened up a little bit, we're going to start adding in our doubanjian which is a soybean paste you can find at most Asian supermarkets. Here is tomato paste. It's gonna add a little flavor. Our rock sugar, which I highly recommend rock sugar over regular granulated sugar. It's not as sweet and just gives a subtle addition to the flavor. Now we'll add our soy sauce. Stir this in. We're gonna add in our black vinegar. Black vinegar is much more preferred over the rice wine vinegar. It's not as pungent. And uh, again, it adds beautiful color to the dish. Now we're gonna add in our heel meat and we're gonna cover each piece of meat with this wonderful mixture that we've just created. 
It adds beautiful color to the meat and allows the flavor to penetrate deeply into it. Have you ever been to Taiwan before? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts were about their Nuro Mian. All right, we got this sauce boiling now. We're gonna make sure each side gets a nice covering. Oh yeah, we're almost there. Oh, the smell is so good. Now we're gonna add in some beef broth, eight cups worth. Now, if you don't have beef broth, you can use water. Just uh, add in eight cups. Flavor is a little better using the broth over the water itself. So I'd highly recommend it if you can, add the broth. But if not, it's still going to be good with just adding water. Stir everything together. Make sure that all the sauce and everything's mixed and bring this to an a boil. Now, here is our spice pack. It's got all these wonderful fennel and it has ba jiao, which is star anise. We're gonna add a little bit of five spice into this. Give it a nice little stir. Make sure everything is getting nice and flavorful. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now here we are back to a boil. We're gonna add our lid. We're gonna turn this all the way down to about a little overload, maybe a two. We're gonna put this on for one and a half hours. See you soon. Now to get everything prepared, we're gonna be putting in about a teaspoon of soy sauce in the bottom of your bowl. Then we're gonna add in just a little drop of sesame oil for flavor and our black vinegar, just a splash, each bowl. This is what they do in Taiwan and trust me, it makes a big difference. Now we've got our water boiling. We're gonna have our hand pulled noodles, hand rolled noodles that is. Take a look up here. I'll leave a link for you to see how I made these noodles if you wanna learn how to make your own. Throw in some bok chow in with the noodle mixture. Just needs to be flash boiled, no big deal. Oh, these noodles are so good guys. Make sure you check out our video on how to make hand pulled noodles. They are amazing. There is no substitute for making them at home and it's so cheap. All right, now we're gonna add in our other noodles. Here's how we're looking. We got the meat, we got the noodles, we got carrots, we got the bok choy. Now we're adding some cilantro, some green onion, right to the top. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Now just make sure you hold your bowl as you start to add the soup. Oh, this soup is so, so good. The smell is just amazing and the meat, look at it. It's just falling apart. And here's what you're gonna end up with. A beautiful Nuro Mian. Oh, happy birthday, honey. This is amazing. Hey guys, what do you think? Yeah. Thanks for stopping by Uncle Bill's Kitchen. We hope you liked this video. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe so that you can get updates on future videos we release. It helps our channel a lot and costs you nothing.